Okay, welcome back. Alright, today what we're going to do will be there is a couple of features that I'm going to feature. First of all, we're going to do a coffee stencil, right? I will actually use Canva images, right? And the main Canva elements, okay. We will start working on it. I'm going to add a page because this is what we have done earlier on the logo. Right, so this is a blank page. And I will actually go into the elements. Okay, so in the, on the elements, we can actually go and look for any images that we want. Let's say, for example, we go for coffee bean and, and actually hit graphics uh, because we're only using graphics, uh, not the photos and others, right? So from the coffee beans, okay, we can actually look for images that we want. So let's say, for example... So, for example, this image that we selected, right? And the whole idea about, if you look into it, this is a very solid image, all right? So obviously this is either a PNG or a JPEG image. Because what we're going to do is we will actually cut out a stencil okay, of these beans. So how are we going to do that is we will actually save the file in SVG format. Hey, so how are we going to save this um, bean in SVG format? Will be, I will go into the share. Okay, I click the download. From the file type, this the is already default PNG. We will actually hit SVG. Yeah, right? And I need a transparent background. And I only need the the current page okay so this is the bean page that i need so i will go on and done and hit download okay so right now it's already being downloaded okay so i will drag this file onto xcs okay i will move this aside and i will drop into xcs okay so it's already here Okay, so the beans is here. So you can be able to see right now, these are all in line file. Okay, so they are not image file, they are in lines. So this is what practically we need. Uh, it's in SVG, that means it's in vector file. So okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a stencil. That means I'm going to create a square, eh, a circle, sorry. I'm going to create a circle, or whether a circle or square, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to create a circle. I will come into the circle down here and I create a circle so that it can be able to fit both of this bean into that, okay, for example. Okay, so what I'm going to do again, I will move this circle out because I'm going to create a holder or um, uh, where you can a ring down here where you can be able to hang this coffee stencil. So there are a couple of features that I'm going to cover uh, is on this chapter down here will be. Okay, I'm going to make use of the circle again. Okay, I'm going to make use on uh, the circle again. And I'm going to make use of the outline. The outline feature, uh, this time you can be able to see it by default is 2mm. I find it's really thin, so maybe I can go into 3mm. Hit OK. So this is okay. I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna make use of the combine feature down here. The combine they actually have four. Um, I would say four, four icons or four. Uh, again, it's called a call feature, I guess. All right. So it doesn't really matter. So this is actually if you. We cannot be able to imagine. Okay, I will come into the engraving part. So, this is all in default. They are all score. Before I move into the cut, I will actually show you uh, steps that we're going to make, right? So, let's say, for example, this is a score and we cannot be able to visual. If I hit engrave, 
basically is you will only see one circle the other circle is right in there okay so what we're gonna do i come back into the i go back into the circle i will actually select select this circle okay i combine i hit the combine feature and i subtract at overlap okay meaning if i hit the subtract at overlap actually i remove the circle in the center okay so i hit this right and for example if i go into engrave there you go so you can see this is right now it became a unit by its own on its own okay so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to come over here touch both of this circle okay after i've touched both of this circle i make it smaller i touch both of this circle i will select okay i will make use of this combine feature again okay so if you notice this is a circle and this is a circle so how which one are we going to use is we will actually make use of the unite okay after when we hit unite both of this circle is actually combined and there you go you actually have it okay and it doesn't really matter so i will right now i move this up into the base okay so right now we actually have it okay we select the whole thing and we go into the cut feature okay so now the whole file will cut it up it will actually cut out the outer part the beans inside and the ring as well okay. so what i'm going to do this is the size 99 and 95 so i guess this is pretty good okay and we will actually go into the laser bit and i will actually cut it out but before that okay because today what we're going to do is we're going to cut a 2mm plywood uh, i'm going to set the power again at 60 based on our test grid okay and the speed will be at seven i guess yeah it's on seven passes is okay so okay we will actually hit process and we will actually go to the laser bed and we will actually frame this up okay so this is an overview of what we get all right and we'll move into the laser bed and we will we will continue from there okay so this is the 2 mm ply so i'm going to put on to my laser bed okay first of all we actually focus our our lens okay okay after we focus we move our laser module onto the spot where we want to actually start the laser so then after if we found that that is okay we will actually frame it up okay so that's pretty okay so this is the spot we done the focus the laser focus we will actually hit start and let it actually cut out the coffee sensor right so okay it's being done we move the laser module away and we check this out all right it dropped off oh fantastic Cleanly cut. Okay. So there you go. We have our customized coffee stand. So we're going to make use of this. All right. So this is the back. Okay. And we can be able to hang this up. Okay.